So I'm about to share the problem that I am having with my Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. Whirlpool model WSF 26C3EXB01. All right, what this refrigerator is doing is it is freezing my food. Now, I have had this thing serviced, I think, six times. I am on my sixth replacement of this part. Has something to do with uh, a damper, motor, uh, something that regulates the air coming from the freezer over to the refrigerator that keeps my food cool. Each and every time they replace this part and they are using Whirlpool genuine parts. This part just does not last. I purchased this in 2013 and started having problems with it in 2014. I also had the same problem in 2015, twice in 2016, and now I'm having it again in 2017. So again, it's freezing my food and I'm going to show you this milk shortly. It had ice in it. it may have melted because I had the refrigerator open. Anyway, I've thrown away eggs. I've thrown away mayo. I've thrown away lettuce. Uh, cream cheese, sour cream. Uh, you name it. Stuff is at ice. Um, I've had uh, different vegetables uh, that just got clear and icy and uh, absolutely not usable, not edible because uh, they just were not made to be frozen in the refrigerator section of the refrigerator. I know that didn't sound right, but anyway, you all know what I mean. And so if you're experiencing this problem, please like this video, share this video. Um, at some point, uh, businesses, they have to uh, be held accountable when they make items that are faulty. And a lot of times we have issues because we do have an extended warranty and we get the items fixed and don't think about, you know, is this really something that other, a problem that other people may be having? Or is this uh, maybe uh, an appliance that has a, a part in it that uh, may be faulty? And so it's, it's being fixed under warranty. But after that warranty ends, if that same problem continues to occur, then the expense for the repair is on the consumer. And, you know, that makes no sense to me when the product or, or the appliance has never been repaired and I do want you all to know I purchased this from Lowe's and Lowe's advised me that uh, they can't do a lemon law or anything like that on this appliance because I have not had the same issue to occur twice in one month now think about it this happens over time so it probably was freezing my food before I really noticed that it was freezing my food. But because I did not put in for a service repair uh, twice within a month, and they came out and was able to say that it was a faulty part, I have nothing to utilize with Lowe's in order to get them to correct this problem. I contacted Whirlpool. Whirlpool told me it's not their problem. It's out of warranty. They give you a certain amount of time under uh, their warranty um, guidelines, and I'm out of that. So it's not their problem. It's Lowe's problem. So, again, I just want to know if anybody else is having this problem with a Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator, model number WSF26C3EX. B01. Also, my refrigerator makes a lot of noise. A really, really, really loud noise comes from back here. 
Um, it, of course, it's not doing it right now. It did it on another video uh, that I made, but um, I didn't have everything I needed in that video, so I uh, chose to do it over. So what I probably will do is cut and add uh, the noise from the video, from the previous video, to the end of this video before I um, actually upload it. So uh, you may, you may or may not hear the noise at the end of the video. But anyway, if you know anybody with the same appliance, please, please, please share this video. Have them to like it, have them to comment, and let's make Whirlpool accountable if they should be accountable. Or let's make uh, Lowe's accountable if they should be accountable. Thank you. Have a blessed day.